we had already a really good friendship established. So right away when we started dating, we're like, oh, we're probably going to get married. We met in high school. Uh, we met at a volleyball game. I mean, we were friends. And then sophomore year of college, we started dating, started seeing each other. And so like a week later, he's like, oh, I want to take you out to lunch. Like, so that was like our first official date. So he took me to this um, Lebanese restaurant in Long Beach called Open Sesame. So it was our first date as well at Open Sesame. Uh, I proposed to her there as well. I love how much he cares about his family. And I love that he's taken an interest in my culture as well. This is a very, very appropriate thing that you two have chosen to do for your wedding. It's to be expected that Joanne and Colin chose to have their wedding ceremony simulcast. They have this amazing ability to combine the best of both languages, the best of both cultures, and the best of both officials. Don't be surprised when suddenly bells start to ring <laughs> and hills come alive. With the sound of music. Joanne and Colin, as I look at you two individually, you each have wonderful qualities. You're both intelligent, talented in different ways. You're interesting people. It's enjoyable to hang around with you. Yet it is when the two of you are together that your world and the world of those around you become magical. You have a crazy counterintuitive things happen when you two get together. Joanne, you are stupendous, you're delightful, you're kind, you're caring, hardworking, and you are just full of integrity. All those traits inspire me to be a better man and a better husband. You encourage me to excel at anything I do, whether it's my career, my hobby, or just snuggling you on our extremely comfortable couch. <laughs> I don't know whether it was fate or chance that we met, and honestly, I don't care. I'm just grateful you are in my life and I get to share it with you. I promise to lend you my advice when you have doubts. I promise to lend you my feet to travel around the world with you. I promise to lend my ears when you need to vent and complain. I promise to lend you my lips to kiss away your sadness and tears. I promise to lend you my arms when you need to feel safe. I promise to give you my heart and love you forever. You are and forever will be my colibri. Colin, my love. First, I wanted to say we made it. Anticipation, we're finally here. And I just wanted to say thank you for being the most supportive husband to be um, during this wedding process. Um, I think that all this planning has been a good indication that regardless of the thing that life throws at us, um, together as a team with the love and support of our family and friends, we can get through anything. When I look back at October of 2014, seven years ago, when we had first just started to see each other, um, Everything is completely unrecognizable. You opened my eyes to a new world of perspective, stimulating so much self-reflection and growth. When you came into my life as a friend, I was blown away by your genuineness and complete sense of self. Your constant care for your friends and family showed me what a kind and thoughtful person you were. And as time passed, you made it apparent that not only did you love and accept every part of me, 
but also taught me how to love and accept every part of me. When I'm with you, I feel like I'm my true self, and I'm thankful every day for your friendship, companionship, and love. But beyond a friend, companion, and lover, you're my partner in life. I knew the moment that I wanted and was ready for marriage when our relationship transcended all else to a, a partnership as in we're in this together and we're doing this together. Got this. So this is my vow to you in this marriage. I vow that no matter how busy life gets, to always make time for you in our relationship. I vow to continue to push you to grow and grow alongside you. I vow to continue to always laugh about everything and find joy in our time together. I love you, my bear. With this ring, I give you my heart. I give you my heart. From this day forward. From this day forward. You shall not walk alone. You shall not walk alone. My heart will be your shelter. My heart will be your shelter. Con este anillo. Con este anillo. Te doy mi corazón. Te doy mi corazón. De este día en adelante, de este día en adelante, no caminarás solo. No caminarás solo. Mi corazón será tu refugio. Mi corazón será tu refugio. When we were younger, you started all with the look you gave. I spread all. Good things just happen, and even when perceivably bad things happen, it turns out when you look in the mirror, when you look in the mirror, they were actually just good things in disguise. The love that you share always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. And I held my breath, and like it was my last one. By the power vested in me, we now pronounce you husband and wife. When we were younger, we'd sit around to see your point of view. Watch you give an inch and take the moment. Truly, it was a change of uh, my heart as a father. And then, you know what, this is uh, the guy that, you know, he's, he loves my daughter. He re truly loves my daughter. He brought joys and tears to our life, but that's what Joanne is. She's a good wife, Colin. She's a good wife. Still I had my breath, like it was my last one. But you stayed there right in front of us. You stayed there right what I think of, of Colin and Joanne as like two wines from two different grapes, right? Two different varietals. On their own, they're pretty spectacular. But then you get somebody and you blend those two wines and it comes out to be something magical. The characteristics of each are enhanced. But you take these two varietals and you mix them together and they come out and the expression is amazing. They reinforce each other and they enhance each other. That's how I feel about how they have, their relationship has evolved. It's, it's been so fun to watch them grow and we're so happy to invite Joanne into our family. I know I felt like this before Right now, um, but you're starting your life as a wife to Colin, 
and join us to your house this morning or this afternoon and just continue to stand by him through all the things that will happen through life, support him, care for him, cherish and love him. He has been a best friend, a confidant, and a sounding board for as long as I can remember. Joanne, these are things he will be for you as well as a husband. Colin really is a great guy. Passionate, affectionate, reliable, humble. You treat her like a person, then a princess, then a Greek goddess, then a person again. Anybody who's ever been in a relationship where you love somebody as much as Joanne and Colin love each other, know that it's not all great nights and amazing times, and that the strength of your relationship isn't based on the good times and how amazing they are, but your ability to come together when it's the hardest, and your ability to grow, and your ability to learn, and your ability to bring out the strengths in your partner. Because Joanne, you are like a firework. When you are enjoying life and you are having an amazing time, you light up the room and everybody can see it. And you bring out the best in everybody and they love you for it. And Colin, you, you're like a lighthouse. Consistent, calm, steady, confident presence that never will leave Joanne's side. And together you guys bring out the best in each other. I know I felt like this before.